What's up, everybody? You're watching Indie Loop, and today we're going to talk to co-director of this documentary right here, When We Ruled H-Town, Jay Snyder, and we're going to talk about what made the Houston music scene so special in the 90s. Let's go check it out. I'm here with one of the co-directors of When We Ruled H-Town, Mr. Jay Snyder. My man, I want to thank you very much for inviting us out here to the official premiere party. I'm excited. I know you invested a lot of heart and emotion so into this project so we're excited to be here for those who don't know about the documentary uh can you tell us a little bit more about the documentary and what inspired you to put it together well my guitar player and i from taste of garlic brent himes he's one of the producers as well we would always talk uh about how you know how you know our glory days and how big the 90s were here and about all of our favorite bands and it, uh, and I worked for a PBS station in New Orleans, and, and I worked on the Fats Domino documentary and a football documentary, and I'm like, you know what, our scene was, you know, to me, was the best thing ever, and I talked to Brent, and I'm like, hey man, I can totally do this, we can do this, let's do it, and, uh, and so it just went from there, and I just started flying back from New Orleans to here and just shooting, and and it just like kind of blew up and you know it, it is what it is now it's like massive right. sold out night right right it's gonna be a big night and actually a lot of people are excited about this man there's been a lot of buzz uh you know a friend of mine we were talking about the other day about the houston music scene back then in the 90s um many people consider that like the golden era the golden age of local music you know and a lot of people don't know if it's ever going to get like that if that was just kind of this monumental moment you were part of a band called Taste of Garlic, a really cool band, by the way. And so you were actually part of the scene. How would you describe the energy back then, man? See this picture right here? That wasn't just us. That was... Like that was dive. That was thirty compilation of bands, Monster right, Soup, right, Funk, right. Salad, you know, tread and result. Everybody had these types of shows. It was massive. Right, right. Awesome, man. I mean, that's one of the things that I really, really, I'm looking forward to catching this documentary. Is for that alone, just kind of be able to see a glimpse of what it was like. Um, if anybody's out there interested in checking it out, because uh, actually somebody hit me up like, where can I see it? Uh, will it be available online? Is it DVD? Where can they get it? I think you can only get it, you can only see it tonight. This is the only time we're premiering it. We might we might do a show in Austin. You know, people have been hitting us up for it because we have a lot of transplants in Austin. But we're, uh, we're you know, you can get them at the shows on Friday and Saturday. And uh, and I'm, I'm assuming if it doesn't sell out, uh, then, you know, we'll, I guess we'll print up more. But you can probably order online. You'll just have to check the Facebook page or the, uh, or the website. So everything will be linked up online on the yeah. website. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay. So like I said, guys, be sure to come out here and support. This man did it, and I think this is a beautiful, monumental moment, especially for the Houston local music scene. If you weren't there, you were able to catch a glimpse of what it was like. I'm excited, man. Congratulations, and thank you so much for giving us your time, man. Everything will be linked up, guys. This Indie Loop, your social loop for all things independent. Be sure to check it out. Thanks again for your support. Peace.